She dances. She's constantly singing. She smiles all the time. Elise has a wonderful life. Elise is a shining light. But due to complications at birth, Elise nearly had a very different life. My wife called me into the room at like 5 a.m. There was blood on the floor in the mattress. It was pretty horrific. As a healthcare provider, I made sure she was okay and I drove her straight to the hospital myself. Elise's mother experienced a placental abruption, a dangerous condition where the placenta separates from the lining of the uterus, cutting the baby off from all life support. She needed to go immediately to you know, the operating room for an emergent C-section. I was definitely afraid that, wow, not only can I lose my child today, but my wife can be in serious danger. For newborn Elise, time was of the essence. Immediately after her birth, she was transported to St. Christopher's Hospital for Children, where a team of neonatal intensive care specialists were standing by for her arrival. My first time with my child, I should be holding her, but she's, you know, in a helicopter flying with you know, breathing tube in her mouth and a lot of IV drips. I was scared. Her life was probably minute to minute, more than hour to hour. So every moment was precious to me. The NICU team immediately treated Elise using a process known as a cooling protocol. This treatment lowered her body temperature, slowing her metabolism and limiting tissue destruction of her brain and vital organs. They came out and the doctor you know, said, you can come see her. And I sat there by Elise's side and I sang to her. I still recall the song I, all the time. And every time I see Elise now, as amazing as she is running, that song plays in the back of my head. The NICU team's fast reaction and expert care helped Elise avoid the most severe consequences. If we have not received the care from St. Chris in a quick fashion, she may not be here today. I'm thankful for every day with my daughter, thanks to St. Chris. Learn more about other proud moments at St. Christopher's Hospital for Children.